Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I want to talk to you about leadership in medical affairs, especially those of you who are stepping into new managerial roles or getting ready to be in one. And here, I will share with you 10 very unconventional recommendations that no one else will commonly discuss with you. Let me start with a little story that perfectly captures why we need to think differently about leadership. And by the way, this is real story. Imagine this. There's a new manager in a big pharmaceutical company, fresh off all the leadership books and management courses. He's fired up and ready to make an impact, determined to be the best leader medical affairs has ever seen. On his very first day, he calls his team together and says, all right, team, we're going to be the most efficient and detail-oriented medical affairs unit out there. And to make sure we're on track, I'll be available for you at any time, and will call you every day to plan and reflect. At first, the team thinks, okay, maybe this is just a one-time thing. He's new. He wants to understand what we're working on. But then, the daily check-ins start piling up. Every morning at 9 a.m., the manager calls each person one by one. What did you do yesterday? What are you doing today? What are your plans for tomorrow? By the end of the first week, the team's routine tasks have turned into a never-ending Q&A session. Instead of focusing on their actual work, they're stuck preparing mini-reports just to keep the manager happy. The team's productivity decreased, and soon they're joking that they spend more time reporting their work than actually doing it. Finally, one brave team member says, you know, I spend more time telling you what I'm going to do than actually doing it. Can I just do it? And that's when the manager realizes he's fallen into the classic trap of micromanagement, more concerned with knowing every tiny detail than trusting his team to deliver results. So, why do I tell you this story? Because it's a perfect reminder that leadership isn't about hovering over your team's every move. True leadership is about empowering people not just managing them. It's about building a culture of trust and accountability rather than creating an atmosphere of constant oversight. Today, we're diving into 10 leadership tips that go beyond the common advice. These are insights that challenge you to step back, rethink your approach, and trust your team to do what they do best. So stick around because these tips are designed to help you lead effectively without falling into the micromanagement trap. This story humorously highlights the pitfalls of micromanagement and sets the stage for discussing leadership strategies that prioritize trust, autonomy, and thinking outside the box. Stepping into a leadership role in medical affairs can be both exciting and overwhelming. You're not just managing tasks. You're leading people, driving strategy, and navigating complex, high-stakes environments. You are not just leading and inspiring a team, but also a subject matter expert when it comes to science. But here's the truth. Most leadership advice you hear is surface level, focused on generic skills like communication and goal setting. What you won't hear are the real, behind-the-scenes insights that can make or break your success as a leader. My first recommendation to you is to embrace ambiguity and foster a culture of adaptability. In medical affairs, situations are rarely black and white. So, encourage your team to embrace uncertainty and be adaptable. Don't just focus on solving current problems. Train your team to anticipate future challenges. This will help you build resilience and also will prepare the team for unexpected changes and challenges in the pharmaceutical landscape. My second unconventional recommendation is to prioritize psychological safety over perfection. You got to create an environment where your team feels safe to speak up and voice their thoughts, challenge ideas, and admit mistakes without fear of repercussions. Psychological safety is a cornerstone of innovative thinking and high-performing teams, particularly in complex data-driven environments like medical affairs. Three. Lead by asking questions, not just by giving answers. 
Instead of always providing solutions, cultivate a habit of asking insightful questions. This encourages critical and strategic thinking and problem solving within your team, empowering them to own their work and helping them to adopt different strategic approaches like scenario planning, for example. Asking the right questions can lead to more profound insights than any direct instruction. An example that I can share with here. I used to ask what if in different situations, like when I wanted to challenge an idea to ensure its value, or when I wanted to understand the bigger picture. Another example can be from leaders who key asking the why in order to reach the root cause of a problem, rather than managing only the superficial issues. That is to say, asking questions can be a very good way to lead, train, and guide your team. Number four, delegate authority, not just tasks. Many leaders delegate tasks, but retain control over decisions, limiting the growth of their team. So, the recommendation here is to delegate authority along with responsibility. Allow your team members to make decisions in their areas, even if it means they occasionally make mistakes. This builds confidence and sharpens decision-making skills. Number five is about another type of the why. Be transparent about the why, not just the what. New leaders often communicate what needs to be done without explaining why it matters. Share the rationale behind strategic decisions to align your team's efforts with the organization's broader goals. This transparency fosters commitment and a deeper understanding of the mission. Six, focus on influence, not control. Effective leadership in medical affairs is less about exercising control and more about influence. Build relationships with stakeholders inside and outside your team, understanding their needs and motivations. By leveraging influence, you can achieve buy-in and align diverse perspectives toward a common goal. We have to find the right balance between leadership and authority. While leadership is the ideal and ultimate style, still authority is important in order to drive performance management and to ensure compliance and alignment with internal and external laws and procedures. That means that new managers need to embark on a journey to learn how wisely they can establish and maintain the right and reasonable balance between leadership and authority. Seven, create a learning ecosystem, not just training programs. Traditional training sessions are often one-off events. Instead, foster a continuous learning environment where your team can regularly and proactively engage in upskilling, attend webinars, share insights from the field, or even rotate roles for broader exposure. Learning should be an ongoing process, integrated into daily work. And here is a very unconventional recommendation. Number eight, know when to be invisible. Great leaders know when to step back and let their teams shine. You don't always need to be at the forefront. By staying in the background during critical presentations or meetings, you allow your team to demonstrate their expertise, gaining confidence and credibility with stakeholders. Number nine, invest in cross-functional relationships beyond your team. New leaders often focus solely on managing their direct reports, but real influence is built through relationships across functions. Spend time understanding the priorities and challenges of other departments like commercial, regulatory, or R&D. This not only improves collaboration, but also positions medical affairs as a key partner in the organization. And finally, number 10, challenge the status quo, including your own practices. Encourage your team to question established practices, even those you've put in place. Innovation often comes from challenging existing norms, so be open to feedback that pushes you out of your comfort zone. Regularly reassess your strategies and be willing to pivot if something better emerges. So, ladies and gentlemen, leadership in medical affairs is not just about following a playbook. It's about understanding the nuances of human behavior, strategic thinking, and the unique dynamics of our field. 
That's why I didn't want to just repeat the usual recommendations you've heard countless times before. Common tips like set clear goals, communicate effectively, and be a role model are essential, but they're just the basics. To truly succeed, you need to dig deeper and embrace the unconventional strategies that drive real impact. The 10 tips we've covered today aren't about quick fixes or standard management tactics. They're designed to challenge your thinking, encourage adaptability, and foster a leadership style that empowers your team. These recommendations, like fostering psychological safety, delegating authority instead of just tasks, and leading through influence rather than control, are what set extraordinary leaders apart from the rest. So I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on each of these tips. Think about how they can apply to your own leadership style and your team's needs. Ask yourself, how can I create an environment where my team feels safe to innovate? How can I lead by asking better questions? And most importantly, how can I challenge not just the status quo, but also my own leadership practices? Remember, leadership is not a destination, but a continuous journey of learning adapting, and evolving. The best leaders are those who are willing to think differently, embrace ambiguity, and empower their teams to achieve more than they thought possible. So, go back, revisit these tips, and reflect on how you can implement them in your daily leadership. Your growth and the success of your team depends on it. If you found these tips valuable, make sure to share this video Leave your thoughts in the comments and let's keep this conversation going. Because leadership isn't about having all the answers. It's about asking the right questions and pushing ourselves to become better every single day.